<laughs> I'm Stephen Doughty. And I'm Stella Creasy, and this is our The House Rules video blog. And it's a budget special today. Da da da! The budget. Um, it's actually the first of two budgets there are going to be this year. Because aren't we the lucky people? A- two in one a- year. Absolutely. So we're going to have the Chancellor of the Exchequer coming up twice this year to the dispatch box, explaining the government's plans. We've all been spending the last few hours trying to get to grips with uh, what he actually said and what he actually meant, um, yeah. rather than some of the spin that goes around these We've things. We've been reading the footnotes and the appendices and checking the charts again. But what you will notice is this budget is actually very thin. Now, uh, budget books tend to be a little bit thicker than this, and that's because there are quite a few things missing. Brexit. Brexit. But it's not a big thing, Brexit, is it? It's not, not, it's at not all. a big not at all. Uh, It's not going to have a really big impact on our economy and our society. I mean, it's not like anyone's told us that it's going to cost our public debt an extra £58 billion. No, not big. Not big. No, let, I, let alone all the questions yeah. about the impact of leaving the single market, all of those yeah. key issues we've been talking like, about small, in previous videos. Small thing. There's another thing that was missing today. Um, it's also International Women's Day today. Which is why we're wearing red. Uh, indeed, red ties here. And uh, we've also seen a lot of women here today in Parliament who've been wearing the suffragette colours, um, who are part of what's called the WASPy campaign, which is women uh, campaigning um, against changes that were made really without any consultation, any thought to their pension arrangements yeah. that's hit many older women um, leaving work not getting what they expected they were going to get in retirement. Yeah. Well, one of the key announcements that he made that's come in already for a lot of criticism is changes he's made to national insurance contributions. Now, I'm sure you'll all know that you pay national insurance in addition to your income tax. So you'll see that going out on your pay slip. Yeah. But if you're self-employed, there's a different system. And anybody who's been self-employed, I've been self-employed in the past, you have to register for uh, making those national insurance contributions. He has put up the national insurance contributions. Now, what he said is that, um, you know, this is in some way to, to level the playing field, particularly for those earning a lot of money. And this, this is exactly why it's important to read the footnotes and look at the appendices. The crucial note is the threshold at which this comes in and what it actually means for people on pretty low and average incomes in this country. Frankly, if you earn £20,000 a year as a self-employed person in this country, the Chancellor today has just clobbered you with another 20 quid's worth of tax every single month. Now, the uh, the rate at which you're going to start paying, you're going to be worse off, you're going to start paying more national insurance contributions, very clear in the budget, is it's about just over £16,000. Yeah. Now, the Chancellor obviously thinks that's some sort of great amount of money, but as many uh, low-income, self-employed people, uh, yeah. often those working in the gig economy or the creative industries um, or young entrepreneurs... Or um, people who've had to go self-employed over the last five or six years because the industry that they work in has changed. A lot of people who used to work in the public sector are now self-employed have been told exactly to on those kind of incomes. Absolutely. I mean, the Conservative manifesto in 2015 made it very clear that they weren't going to raise national insurance contributions and they've actually gone against that today. Yeah. And given that the Chancellor is sticking to his plans on inheritance tax, which are overwhelmingly going to help some of the people on some of the highest incomes in this country, it doesn't feel like a very fair balance well, and lowering corporation tax as yeah. well, which again often tends to benefit the biggest uh, corporations and businesses. He's talked about spending money on building more free schools when all of us know that schools in our communities are struggling for cash. Some of the schools in Walthamstow, where I represent, are going to face a 20% cut in their funding. But the money that the Chancellor's raising through these kind of tax rises isn't going to go to those schools. A quick devolution note here, of mm. course, that applies in England only, because for places in Wales, like myself, we have a Welsh government, Welsh Labour government, that is actually investing in our schools and hospitals and public services and has taken a lot of different choices on those issues. A real disappointment to many of us that something that I think there's agreement across the House needs more money. Again, the Chancellor might be talking about big sums of money. He talked about £2 billion. It quickly unravelled when you looked at the details, but it wasn't that at all in terms of the money that's going to come into the system that is urgently needed now. No wonder the Chancellor needs another budget later yeah. on this year because he's going to have to undo some of the damage that he's done in this one and hopefully put in there some of those things that he failed to do this time, whether that's Brexit. We're looking for volume two. Whether that is on women's pensions, whether that is on uh, children's funeral costs, skills, whether it's skills, whether it's productivity, um, whether it's on um, supporting our small businesses and entrepreneurs yeah. rather than hitting them with tax rises. Uh, if you've enjoyed our video today um, and you'd like to ask us more questions, whether that's about the budget or any of the other issues we've been talking about. As ever, um, you can uh, subscribe if you're on uh, YouTube. Um, you can share our video if you're on Facebook. Uh, you can like the video and uh, do get in touch, ask us yep. questions and watch the next one.